Hello students, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to discuss about union in C programming. Okay, so I already discussed structure. Structure is user defined data type in C programming language. Like structure, union is also user defined data type in C programming language. Okay, so structure is used to store different types of data. Okay, structure is used to declare different types of data. Union also is used to declare different types of data. Okay, so in the same memory location. But structure allocates the memory continuously. Here, union allocates the memory, allocates same memory location. Okay, so we can define a union with many members. But at a given point of time, only one member can contain a value okay so here you can define many number of variables so at a given point of time only one member contain the value okay so that is the difference between structure and union so whenever you declared a structure by using struct keyword you can declare either integer character float double those are different data types okay so whenever you def uh, define the different types of data the memory is allocated for integer 4 bytes okay for float 4 bytes for character 2 bytes okay so here memory is allocated for three different data types so int float and next char so this is structure so in union if it contain three different types like integer, float, character. So, it take in the largest data type size. So, here int size is 4 bytes and float memory size is 4 bytes. Character is 2 bytes. So, here the largest memory size is 4 bytes. So, it allocates 4 memory locations. Only 4 memory locations. Okay. So, here... You can define a union with many members. But at a given point of time, only one member can allocate the memory. One member can contain a value. Okay. So, here only one member contain the value and a memory location. Okay. So, that is the difference between structure and union. So, see this. Need for union in C programming. So, C unions are used to save. So, here used to save the memory. When we want to assign a new value to a field, then the existing data is replaced with new data. For suppose, I am declaring one union. Union. So, here union is a keyword which is used to indicate union. STU is the union name and next here I am taking integer number next AVG int AVG okay or here I am taking float so int number and float AVG. So, integer occupies 4 bytes of memory. Next, float occupies 4 bytes of memory. So, here union takes the largest size. Okay. So, among these three, between these three, between these two, it takes the largest memory size. So, here the largest memory size is 4. So, first we are storing the number. So, 1, 0, double one so here one zero double one is stored and that is number no okay so if you want to store the average then one zero double one is replaced with 95.03 like this okay so in this way the existing memory the existing value is replaced with new value so unions are used to save the memory but in structure so if you declare this as structure struct student so here the 
two values are so for integer it occupies four bytes and next for float it occupies four bytes so here memory is wasted but in union it saves the memory okay c union allows data members which are mutually exclusive to share the memory so here different types of data is used to share the memory the quite important when memory is uh, valuable such as embedded system so unions are mostly used in embedded programming where direct access to the memory is needed so mostly unions are used in the embedded programming okay next one so differences between structure and union so this is very important so structure allocate enough space to store all the fields in the struct okay so here for each member each variable the memory is allocated in structure the first one is stored at the beginning of the struct the second one is stored after that and so on so the first the first one is stored in this memory location and the second one is stored in this memory location and the third one is stored in this memory location like that it will be continuous okay but union also only allocates enough space to store largest field listed okay so and all fields are stored at the same space okay so the largest memory space is allocated so in this place all the variables are stored one after another so the first value is stored if you want to store the second value first value is replaced with second value if you want to store the third value third value is replaced with second value and so on okay so here the main purpose of union is used to save the memory okay so here syntax to declare a c union so if you want to declare the c union so here the syntax is union union name okay so here union is a keyword and union name is a any valid identifier so here union name is also used to follow all the rules that the variable contains okay so the next one is the data type field name data type is any valid c data type such as int char float double string like this so you can declare many number of data types so here size of union is the size of its largest field because sufficient number of byte must be reserved to store the largest sized field so here whatever the member which contains the largest size that is the size of union okay so if you want to store int char float double so here the largest memory uh, size is double okay double contains 8 bytes so, so that's why it allocates the 8 bytes so here the largest memory size is 8 bytes that's why all other variables can be stored okay to access the field of union use dot operator that is the variable name followed by a dot operator okay so if you want to use s number then you need to use dot s number okay so if you want to use s name dot s name so dot name is used to access the union members so in structure also dot is used to access the structure members next example program so here hash include stdio.h it is a header file next i am declaring one structure so here struct is a keyword test one is the structure name so inside it has two members one is x and another one is y those two are integer data type okay next i am declaring one union so union is a keyword test is the union name inside union i am declaring two variables two members those are x and y which are integer data type okay next program execution starts from main function so here int is the return type main function next i am declaring one structure variable so here the syntax is struct structure name is the test one 
next t1 is the variable is equals to so here i am declaring values so here t1 dot x is containing 1 t1 dot y is containing 2 okay so 1 is stored at x and 2 is stored at y so here t1 is the variable okay so what is dot operator so here dot operator is used to access the members of structure so that's why t1 dot x is equals to 1 t1 dot uh, y is equals to 2 okay so this is the syntax to declare variable so you can declare like this also so here t1 semicolon you can declare like this or you can declare like this also okay next next i am declaring union variable union test so union test is the union name t is the variable so here i am not storing any values okay so next t dot x is equals to 3 now tell me where 3 will be stored so what is t t is a member for union t is a variable for union okay so t dot x is equals to 3 so t y also gets value 3 so why first so here test 1 t1 is equals to 1 comma 2 so here two memory locations are allocated one for x one for y so here integer occupies four bytes so these four bytes for x these four bytes for y so in this i am storing one so in this i am storing two okay so memory is allocated continuously so that's why all these memory is wasted in structure but in union so here for x the memory is allocated for y also so here x comma y those two are integer data type variable so integer occupies only four bytes so four bytes only allocated so first three is stored in this memory location ty also gets a three okay why because so union occupies only memory location dot the data type which contain highest memory size so here int is the only data type the memory size of int is a 4 bytes so that's why only 4 bytes are allocated so we are declaring only t1 dot x but t1 uh, t dot x but t dot y also gets a 3 so after fixing x value coordinates of t will be percentage d percentage d so t of x value and t of y value okay so t t of x value is 3 t of y value is t of y value is 4 so here 3 value is updated to 4 3 is replaced with 4. So 3, 4. So next, after fixing y value coordinates, so before that, before, let's write. I will explain. So here, only 3 is placed. Ty is also y t dot y also 3 so here i am printing t dot x value is 3 t dot y value is also 3 because we are not declaring any value for t dot y so that's why this value is belongs to t dot x and t dot y okay so whenever you are declared whenever you declared t dot y is equal to 4 so in that case this value is replaced with 4 okay now 
after fixing y value coordinates of uh, t will be so t dot x is 3 t dot y is 4 so so here so 3 value is replaced with 4 so first the output will be 3 3 so after fixing so t dot x value is 4 and t dot y value is also 4 because 3 is replaced with 4 next printf the coordinates of t1 are t1 r so here t1 t1 dot x is equals to so here the value is 1 t1 dot y is equals to here the value is 2 so 1 2 so in this way the values are displayed so here in structures the memory is allocated for each variable in the structure each variable for the structure members but in union only single memory highest memory allocation is allocated so all the data is stored in that place so first the value is stored second value is replaced the first value and third value is replaced the second value it goes it goes on okay so see the output so after fixing x value the coordinates will be 3 3 because here t dot t dot y value is not mentioned dot, not initialized so that's why whatever the x value that will be displayed for y after fixing t dot y is equals to 4 so 3 is replaced with 4 so that's why x value is 4 and y value is also 4 so that's why 4 4 next t1 value is clear because the memory is allocated separately for x and y so that's why 1 comma 2 okay so in this way structures and unions are works i hope it is clear if you have any doubts regarding to this video please comment me in the comment section for more videos please subscribe my channel thank you